Yes, we received a question via text. It reads, is Moses in heaven? Dr. Yeah. Holland, uh, any scriptures that will shed light on this? We have clear, uh, clear scriptures. Uh, Matthew chapter uh, 17 and verse 3. Uh, in the transfiguration, uh, we see very clearly that Moses is in heaven. Uh, Matthew chapter 17 and verse 3. The Bible says, and behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him, speaking of Jesus. And so we must ask the question then, if Moses, why is Moses in heaven? How did Moses get to heaven? Uh, that kind of fully answers this. Because, of course, in Deuteronomy chapter 34, we see that Moses dies and Moses is buried. Uh, Moses was not allowed to enter into the promised land. Uh, because of his choice, uh, when God had instructed him to just speak and water would come out of a rock, he instead chose to strike the rock. And because of that, he was not allowed to enter the promised land. But then Jude, and Jude is only one chapter, the book of Jude and verse 9 tells us something fascinating. Jude and verse 9 says this. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke you. So here in Jude 9, we have this picture. And this picture is that Satan is battling for the body of Moses. But Michael the archangel, which of course we know is Jesus Christ, comes in and says, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. And here is the beautiful thing. While mm -hmm. Moses was denied entry into the promised land of ancient time, God sent his son Jesus to go get Moses to bring him to the better promised land, the eternal promised land of heaven. And there in heaven, Moses is along with the other humans that we know are there. And those humans are Elijah and Enoch. And Elijah and Moses come back to encourage Jesus to plow forward with his mission to sacrifice his life to save the entire world. Wow. Amen. Thank you so much. Dr. Touche, any additional uh, thoughts there? Oh, I was just thinking that sometimes we think of, of Enoch as a symbol of someone who goes to heaven without seeing death, and then Moses as a symbol of someone who passes away and then is resurrected. And I also thought of a personal application that maybe it will speak to your heart as well. Moses was utterly devastated, completely heartbroken that he couldn't go into the promised land. That's what he wanted more than anything. And then he was denied that privilege but God had something better. He took him to heaven early. He, he got the early trip to heaven. Um, and, you know, if he had his choice, I'm thinking that Moses probably would have taken that choice to go to heaven um, when Jesus collected him and took him to his heart and took him right up to heaven. And it happens with us sometimes too, that we just have our hearts set on something that we think is the very best thing that could happen to us ever. And the Lord says, no. But it's, if the Lord says no, it's always because he has something better. Mm -hmm.